Hi everyone, it's Kaylee here for Microsurvey. Now, some of you might not know this, but I am a surveyor and I do spend a couple days a week out in the field on a variety of different surveys. But the truth is, my job starts long before I get out in the field. And my secret to ensuring that my field surveys are efficient and accurate comes down to the effort that I put in in the office ahead of time, setting up my project and doing my pre-calculations. Most of the time, this is done in MS CAD using the Kogo routine. You've seen videos that I've done before that go over how to use the Kogo routine, but in today's video, I'm just going to quickly highlight on some, let's call them advanced tips and tricks, and just a couple little shortcuts that I use just to maximize my workflow. Using Microsurvey CAD's Kogo shortcuts, I can streamline my project setup, reducing field time, and ensure maximum accuracy before I even pick up my data collector. Tip number one, repeat bearings and distances by typing the point number dot dot point number of the two points that you want to generate the bearing and the distance between. This trick allows me to repeat existing bearings and distances instantly without having to retype anything. This keeps me quick as well as reduces the chance of typo errors to be introduced. Tip number two, quickly add or subtract 90 degrees. Need to create a 90 degree angle? This simple shortcut removes any manual calculations so I can just focus on planning my survey efficiently. Tip number three, combine units easily with F for feet. So whether I'm working in feet, meters, or both, Microsurvey CAD simplifies unit conversions. By typing an F after any feet distances, I can input mixed units from various sources seamlessly. Tip number four, quick inversing for fast plan checks. So my final data checking is faster with the quick inverse shortcut. And this ensures that my pre-calc data is accurate. So I'm confident that everything will align once I get on site with minimal time spent trying to calc this stuff out and figure stuff out on the fly. So while I love having time to pre-coordinate my jobs and make sure that before I head out in the field, I have a good grasp on what my game plan is, I don't always get the opportunity um, to set up my jobs that way. Sometimes you come out here and you don't have anything except for uh, a paper copy of a map from 50 years ago. If that's the case, a lot of these tips and tricks that uh, we're going over in Microsurvey CAD they also work um, in Field Genius as well. So I'll show you a quick example of that now. Okay, so I am going to quickly show you a hypothetical strategy for finding corner pins on this lot. So in this situation, I don't have any pre-coordinated points, just a copy of the old plan. I have found the two front pins and tied them in, and I've tied in the fence line. So before I exert my energy bushwhacking through the snow to the back of the lot, I want to do a rough calculation that's going to get me into the proximity of the alleged old iron pin. So the first thing I'm going to do is tip number four. Quickly inverse the westerly fence line and compare that distance to my plan. 152, 30, 49. And on the plan, we have 153. So that looks within reason for the rotation between astronomic and grid azimuths. So I could calculate out that difference and manually apply that rotation to all of the plan azimuths, but that would be pretty time consuming. Since all I'm doing now is a quick and rough search, I'm going to just project the boundary back from that northwest pin in the front at the same bearing as the fence line and just hold the plan distance. So I tap the little calculator, I select traverse, I set my start point, and then I use our tip number one to avoid having to manually 
type out the azimuth. I then enter the plan distance and create the calc point. This gives me a coordinate to stake out and hopefully by the time I get up there, I will be able to pick up something with the pin finder in that proximity. By integrating these tips and tricks into my pre-calc workflow, I spend less time punching buttons and more time delivering results. With Microsurvey CAD, every project starts with efficiency. Thanks so much for tuning in. Until next time, happy surveying. Are you ready to optimize your workflow? Try MicroSurvey CAD today and discover how these Kogo tools can transform your projects.